a siphon is a pipe connected to reservoir of different water levels, in which a pipe pressure would locally become less than atmospheric. In the siphon, the liquid flow from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir by gravity. In the first part, the siphon lifts up the liquid to an elevation higher than the surface of the upper reservoir until the pressure becomes subnatural before discharging into the lower reservoir. An application is a siphon spillway. This photograph shows a physical model of a siphon spillway in operation. Now, let us consider a simple application of the energy principle to a siphon spillway. We have here a concrete gravity structure with a siphon spillway operating between the reservoir on the left and the reservoir on the right. Let's consider a 25 meter high concrete gravity dam equipped with a siphon spillway. The siphon spillway is primed during a flood event on operating under pressure flow. The 19 meter long siphon has a constant cross section of 2 meter by 1 meter. The friction factor is assumed to be 0.022, the inlet loss coefficient 0.5, the bend loss coefficient at the crown about 0.75, and the outlet loss coefficient is 1. Let us calculate the discharge when the reservoir elevation difference is 7.5 meter, and let us determine the pressure at the crown point C located 6.5 meters from the inlet for the flow condition shown here. Note that the schematic below shows the flow condition corresponding likely to the tail of the flood on the upstream reservoir elevation as considerably lowered. In the two reservoirs, the velocity is negligible, hence the difference in total head between the upstream and downstream reservoir is equal to the difference in reservoir surface elevation, 7.5 meters. Next, let us apply the equation of conservation of mass and conservation of energy, also called continuity principle, on energy principles. The application of the equation of conservation of energy between the upstream and downstream reservoir gives this relationship, in which Vs is the velocity in the siphon spillway, which must fulfill the continuity equation, and dh is the equivalent pipe diameter or hydraulic diameter. In the energy principle, we can use the following assumption, P1 equal P2 equal 0 at the reservoir's surface, assuming that the, the atmospheric pressure is 0, and V1 equal V2 in both reservoirs. The energy principle give an expression of the head difference, and this lead to the velocity in the siphon conduit of 2.76 meters per second. And the continuity principle gives us the discharge BQ 5.53 cubic meters per second. Now, let us consider the pressure at the highest point, C, in the siphon. The application of the equation of conservation of energy between the upstream reservoir and the crown, point C, is shown here. Then we can modify the energy principle. And in turn, we find the pressure head at the crown, minus 2.72 meter. That is, the pressure at the crown is less than atmospheric. The saf a saffron spillway is a conduit spillway which may discharge under negative pressure at the crown. The siphon spillway starts to discharge once the upstream reservoir elevation is greater than the elevation of point B. With increasing discharge, the conduit will become primed and the entire siphon will operate under pressure. When the discharge decreases, the transformation from conduit to free surface flow takes place with some hysteresis and instabilities. If the negative pressure in the conduit falls below the vapor pressure, the water would transform into vapor and may lead to some col imploding col collapse called cavitation. Air-regulated siphons may be used to enable the, sif the siphon spillway to remain stable at any discharge, and this is discussed in another video in the same series. The operation of siphon spillways constitute a basic application of fluid mechanics and energy principle to open channel hydraulics and hydraulic structures. 
This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.